Hey guys, it's me, Phoenix. Yes, I'm back. We are going to do a little finance read to see where you are when it comes to your finances, the things that you have going on, what you're working on, your endeavors, everything about that. You guys do me a favor, please like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification to be notified when I post a new video. Remember, rare hearts, you made it through. Purple hearts, if it resonates. Green hearts, you're working on it. Yellow hearts, you rock with me. Got my six, me to have my back. Because I have yours. Bottom of the deck is crafter. You are crafting some things under theirs divine timing. You're crafting things. You're getting things together. And you're focusing on your um, the setbacks that you've had. But setbacks when it comes to partnerships. Your craft. The things that you do. The things that you love. When it comes to partnerships. Partnership. Sometimes uh, what it feels like to me is that somebody actually did not agree with the things that you were doing or how you were doing things. Uh, so therefore, you had to look at things in a different light and move forward, you know, and that's just sometimes we, what we have to do. This is manifest success money blocks. And um, I forget the name of this other deck, but it is by Midnight Oracle. I just put them all together. But yeah, you had to understand that there's going to be setbacks in any type of situation to where it causes limitations and it causes for you to have to focus on your coins but at the end of the day if you just hold fast stay in the present moment and um you know trust in divine timing which again is underneath um the um uh finance with the setbacks and the uh, bottom of the deck uh for crafters you know everything will come together you know and so that is just what you need to understand but integrity understanding your values and it says solid finances and investing investing in yourself is what the universe wants you to know especially when it comes to your coins sometimes people will put you in situations or make you feel certain ways because of the fact that you guys see things in a different light and so at some point you have to understand that those setbacks are major comebacks you know and so again yeah the influence people that you're around yeah but at the same time you're going to be rewarded you just have to understand invest your time and know that there's limitations when it comes to dealing with certain situations but the obstacles are the setbacks that you have to have in order for you to get into that eight of pentacles energy where you start to craft and work on yourself and so that is what the universe is telling you that soon soon that uh soon either the people that you're around are going to make you have to automatically change or the people that you that come into your life once you make these changes based upon the setbacks or the the people that are holding you back or the things that are holding you back you're going to be rewarded you're going to be recognized and it's going to pay off your efforts are going to pay off is what it says you know um whether it be small investments that you make for yourself uh but yeah at some point yeah you have to focus on yourself and get out of your emotions and that is the teacher that the universe is trying to get you to understand it's about stability but stability is the hardest uh, teacher when it comes to or the hardest lesson that we have to learn when it comes to our emotions focusing on the things that we need to focus on and that is when it comes to um, money coming in and uh, you having good investments again investments come out you could be making small investments uh, you could be doing certain things but you could be learning from the the mistakes that you had or the setbacks that you had this could be in regards to a person place thing or a situation but it could be in regards to certain situations that you sign contracts for uh, it says here um, what you need to understand it says consider having a partner who can bring the expert uh experience you lack so those type of partnerships are what you need to have you know um being in business um we learned years ago that you know there are um uh certain members to the team there's somebody that's a doer there's somebody that's a thinker there's somebody that's a go-getter there's somebody that's a motivator and there's you with an idea if you don't have those five people and it's not necessarily just five people but that is the best part of the team somebody who's going to be able to see and somebody to call you out on your flaws or call you out on the things that are limiting you meaning from the influences that you're around your emotions of what you're like okay i'm in imposter syndrome um i need to get out of that situation but it all comes when it uh when it comes to you taking control of the stability the coins are here it says take control of your finances to create stability in your life your financial future promises to be stable and pros uh, prosperous it says excellent time to take action on any money related ventures so again small small steps you know not not too uh big of a step but again 
um, trusting in divine timing is where you are when it comes to, you know, what, what you need to do. And it says with the divine timing, I'm just going to go ahead and pull that. It says things come together at exactly the right time in the present moment. If you stay in the present moment and you, um, focus on what it is that you're trying to do right now, not the limitations, not the things, the, the setbacks of the past, not the the old relationships or the old contracts that you signed, not the influences, people who, who made you feel some type of way, who made you look at your emotions in a certain way. It says your emotions are affecting your finances. You're paying too much attention to your love life and ignoring your career. So again, what you uh, figure out, what you find to be, um, uh, a healthy um, situation like the things that you make you happy is what it says crafter you know you're doing things that make you happy that's the only reason why we do them cancer and that means staying for too long that means staying at a job for too long that means being around people for too long giving people chance after chance and once you realize that this is not something that I want to do you uh, automatically yes six of pentacles given to others yeah you automatically understand the unknown you don't know where you're going to go you don't understand you don't know the mystery with when it comes to the moon you don't know where you're going to go what you're going to do and how you're going to get there you just believe in yourself and sometimes when you're around the wrong situations you have to turn around and remember and that's what the moon energy is you have to remember why you started this what you're trying what you're learning from this and why you love to craft and why you love to do the small little quirky mundane things that some people just don't understand and sometimes it has to do with love and again who influences this influence you it says your influence for change may uh you may do public speaking social videos and interviews your voice and opinion are important so your voice is important but if you limit yourself based upon your emotions the uh, the reward is not going to come until you actually recognize what it is and why you decided to do this and the two of cups energy comes with contracts remember i said that it comes with contracts it could be divorce decrees could be marriage uh decrees could be business it could be you going into buying houses it could be things that you thought that was going to work when it came to partnerships but you guys don't see eye to eye that's the reason why it's like the yin and yang energy like what happens below was as above, above as above so below but some people that look and see the their growth above won't see what's happening below and you're not the person that's flashy and it's not going to show people what it is you're just trusting in divine timing and to some people they want instant rewards and so when it comes to yeah completion you actually really looking at what direction you want to go in to see what it is that you want you have to understand that you are a giver you are somebody who will cook things you are somebody who will do things for people who don't really care about the money that's involved in it because the, your scales are balanced mentally when it comes to you helping people. Nobody has to be able to tell you or show you how to do these things. You love these. But when it comes to somebody, um, um, you know, uh, kind of, uh, or some things kind of dragging you down or, or holding you back, then that's when it comes to this situation, like where you start to feel taken advantage of. And then when it comes to you having to remember why you started this situation or what you started or why you, why you, how you got to this point. And sometimes it's hard for you to understand that, but at some point you have to be the one to say, Hey, 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 wake up cancer. I did this. And I started this because of that. I started this because of this. I didn't start this for any person, place, thing, or situation. It wasn't about love. It was about where I was mentally, physically, emotionally. And so that is how you have to get, to the get back to remembering who you are you know like um mufasa told uh scar uh excuse me scar mufasa told simba remember who you are you know you are my son a, tr a true clink king but at some point you have to have those type of people around you to uh to nudge you forward to be able to, for you to be able to see and actually not beat yourself up because of the fact that you have um you know, waited too long. It could have been years. It could have been, you know, again, when the pinnacles come out, eight of pinnacles is like working on yourself. Um, this is the card deck. I haven't used this in a long time, but this is the card deck. Um, I got it from somewhere, but let me make sure it's in the upright. I got it from somewhere. Yeah. It's about getting older and it being a tarot deck. So it's, it's kind of cute and quirky, but it's about if you wait too long, what happens and what things look like, uh, in the future. And it's not like, yeah, 
tower energy. You become the person that's going to um, end things for other people because again, you be the one. You're you you become the, instead of the carer, you become the codependent one that's walking around finding people and um, um, not finding people, uh, um, family, friends you know, and telling them what they, what they've done instead of you and, and you're not working on yourself. That's kind of how I see that when it comes to this tower card here. And that might not be what this card is meant to be, but again, it's like, you're always the one, um, stopping the danger from happening. Any other time you see the tower card, you see it's water here and, you know, um, it's like keep off the grass and they're doing all this stuff, but you're the one always setting the rules or always trying to get people out from getting in trouble or something like that. And so page of Pentacles energy, you start to work on yourself. You start to do the work for yourself. And when it comes to you understanding why it is that you have to manifest the things that you want and not look, look at the things that are holding you back or making you feel like you know, you need to complete that. You need to stop being who you are. That's kind of how I see that. You need to stop being who you are. Stop being the teacher, but you're always going to be the teacher, but you're going to invest more into your craft than you actually, um, um, because you're going to remember the things that, why, your why. That's what I mean. Because we learned about what is your why when it came to business. What is your why when it came to certain situations? Yeah, three of wands. You're starting to look at things from a different perspective. You're starting to take those trips. You're starting to really kind of look out towards the world and look ahead and grow and expand. And again, finding your direction because the world card here, if you look, this is them looking through a mirror or a microscope, if however you want to say crystal ball, you know, a mirror, mirror on the wall. Tell me where I should go next. This is you going out on an adventure, you know, and it's you by yourself. You're, you're departing from the past and, you know, letting go of the emotions of the past and not nurturing that past energy and actually starting to work on yourself. And sometimes it's easier said than done, but yeah, Empress energy, this card is too funny. Um, so basically it's, um, somebody that is in drag that wanted to do this and it could be you know this could be you understanding when it comes to the empress energy creating the life that you want being a crafter you know um creating the channels creating the you know going out to do theater going out to try things do things differently this is an older man could be santa claus but he is going to in a corset to do something totally different and in the foot, I don't want to really show the butt because, yeah, he's still nurturing himself, taking care of himself. But, you know, look what it has to do. But it's about the empress, seeing the beauty and the things that you want and not letting anything stop you and from moving forward. And that is when it comes to old age. But again, look at this. If you look at the page of Pentacles, this is an older lady. This is an older lady. This is an older lady telling and and telling somebody to stop what you're doing. And this is an older man finally learning how to do the things that they want and the knight of swords energy to be tough, be ambitious, know what you want, go after it in a single minded determination. And that is where you recognize your strength. Look at that. Um, strength isn't always physical. Your patience, compassion, and gentle spirit is what makes you strong. This is an older lady. She looks like she's a flight attendant, but she looks like she's actually taking a leap finally for the, for the herself. Um, and doing the things that they want, that she wants. And that's the teacher. Experience is the teacher. The Queen of Swords also is here. So we have divine timing. We have the Two of Cups. We have stability. And we have gold. Everything is right there. You just have to understand the Queen of Swords energy that you have to listen in order to learn and understand where you are. This is a phone operator. And to me, with the Queen of Swords energy, the Queen of Swords is somebody who is very, um, you know, um, like uh, ha has has is very direct and can can do this. Now this person here is the one who connects the calls to, you know, and hears all the information and knows exactly what they want. But sometimes you grow older doing the things that you really don't want to do when you're perfect at it. She can make her own company and do her own thing. You just have to listen and look into what it is that you want to do. And so that is kind of how this energy is to me. Um, again, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. But sometimes when it comes to the art of manifestation or you actually learning um, about the things that you want in life, you have to be able to look, sit still, sit still and look at the things that you want 
and go after. Sorry, I'm I'm looking for um my do, 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 card deck that is about manifestation and um do, 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 I don't really maybe this is it. I don't really see it, but yeah, you have to, oh here it is right here. You have to be I think this is it. You have to be the one that is going to go after the things that you want. Um this is the fortune teller deck. This is not the one I wanted, but I'll take this one, but I also take the vision board deck which is uh oracle deck and this is by a virtual reality um she changed her name on etsy but she's on etsy and on um she's on etsy and she's on um youtube too she's a tarot reader on youtube but she's the best card maker that i've i've seen i have like i say I, you guys know i've been going so busy and procrastinating in regards to the things that the cards that I need to get out. And I see so many people with beautiful cards. It's time for me to do it. And so a new start. Yeah, here we go. Innocence, young or a young at heart. So this lady, if you see uh, normally as a, at an older age, you wouldn't be standing on the rock. Normally, you wouldn't be trying to take leaps and do the things that you want. But you're you're in a childlike phase to where, yeah, garden. Um, this is attending events, socializing, social networks and online also. So you're doing something different. And here it is at the bottom of the deck, woman, cur cur current, I never could say that, or interest in significant female or intuitive. You're trusting in your intuition and that's your investing in yourself this time and taking that leap and being able to do the things that you want um, on your vision board. Let's see. You guys, I miss you guys so much. Um, I miss you guys. I, I you know, it's, it's, it's a lot for me to have to be able to um stay away from you guys but it was a lot going on uh good things not bad but you know then when all the retrogrades and everything yeah poise see poise and confidence you're doing things with poise and confidence at the bottom of the deck is fierce yeah you realize that you're the fierce one you're the one that's going to be attending all these social events and it says interior design so that could be something that you're passionate about um i as a cancer Interior design is not something that I would probably do as a profession. I know I could, but when it comes to me changing the sin the scenery or changing the uh, area in my house, uh, whether it be downstairs, upstairs, through the garage, um, in the backyard, those are the things that make me happy. Going to Hobby Lobby, I can stay in Hobby Lobby all day, or going to Michael's, or going to you know, home goods, things like that. And that's what you learn to recreate, to change your space. It's the small little things that um, make you feel better. And so that is the things that you have to do when it comes to getting out of your old way and have a childlike energy, but know that it's time for you to stop taking care and nurturing the things that, you know, um, the people and the, the situations and the works and the things like that, that's holding you back your fears you're able to be able to do the things that you want to do and that's what you should be doing so i'm going to pull from the four agreements and then i'll pull from the crystal deck and then we'll go ahead and let this energy go um again i love you guys i miss you always do your best so at some point this came in reverse so um don't overdo you were overdoing a whole lot of things but now you're you're realizing that you've done everything that you possibly could when it came to certain situations sorry I'm getting this card deck when it came to certain situations and the only thing that you can do now is your best for yourself the amatrine and the mosque uh, agate came out um yeah so uh this is the four agreements I'll go ahead and put the links up above don't overdo it says always do your best but don't overdo when you overdo you deplete your body and go against yourself and it will take you longer to accomplish a goal and my point exactly that's where we are in this situation you're learning at it at after years of and i say coins uh which is you uh doing things for yourself it reminds me of the eight of pentacles um you're doing things for yourself at a later time after feeling and understanding that there have been major setbacks and you've been nurturing situations too long but the completion is there and now you're 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 tough and you're confident and you're confident and you're fierce and you're poised and it's time for you to get over those setbacks that happen and have a major comeback so the heart chakra yeah it's healing your heart chakra um the moss agate is new beginnings nurturing and growth it says i live in the abundant world 
I live in the abundant world. And the amaterine, it has the crown, the third eye, and the solar plex chakra. The amaterine says balance, soothing, and intuitive. Remember, trusting in your intuition, and that was there in order for you to have stability. Trust and know that you're going to be stable no matter what because your heart is too good. You've done your best in every situation. You know what you are passionate about, and they always say that doing something that you love is never considered a job. So I am intuitive and protective. I am, in, I am intuitive and protective, and I live in an abundant world. Everything will come to you within divine timing, within divine right. So, uh, excuse me, but I said in, within divine right, within, excuse me, within divine timing and in divine, uh, within your divine right is what I was trying to say. But anyway, the setbacks based upon the contracts that you made, remember, we have contracts here somewhere, but basically... It's in within your own your own timing. Here it is, the Two of Cups energy. So love will find you. That job, that thing that you're looking for, the searching for that home, it'll come to you. You just have to get out there and take the leap to do the things that you want and know that you're fierce. So let's let this old energy go. I now let go of worn out conditions of lack, doubt, hate, negativity, procrastination, stagnation, sadness, generational curses, debt, bad energies, heartbreak, bad health, and addictions. Remember, addictions can be to a person, place, thing, or a situation. I love you guys.